hi guys uh, in the recent video we have learned how to install and uh, counter the cypress uh, verified timeout issue and then now we will do a basic in this tutorial uh, uh, this is just uh, uh, any test suit is start from the describe block and any test case is start from the it block basically this is a mocha framework we are using it and this is the structure of the mocha framework uh, this is our uh, first test case something and then this is our second test case and both test cases are in the same test suit okay first of all we will define how to work uh, how to use a before each method in uh, cypress before each method is basically a method which is uh, called before each test case uh, uh, in the cycles and this will be called before each method and we will define it here something like this before And uh, I will write a uh, uh, cy.visit here. Uh, okay. Actually, th I, it will visit a link which we want to test before each method. And I will use a, uh, this link for testing purpose. And I will automate the login page of this page okay copy from here and just paste it here okay now it should visit the that particular link and okay, I will run it here uh, okay you can see that okay before each method okay it's open and now I will automate the login page. Okay. I will copy the selector of this particular field. Something like this. Go here. Uh, user text. Okay. Click here. Copied. And in first test case, we will visit. Uh, and uh, enter the login. And type admin. Admin is basically a username. Let me show you. Uh, basically, uh, admin is a username here. And password is just a this one. Admin three. Copy the selector of this file. Uh, a skip. Uh, skip method is basically used to skip any test case or any test suit uh, in the cypress just uh, write a dot skip uh, in like this and it will skip this whole test suit uh, test case in this test suit just it will something like this it will not execute the second one okay this is automatically skipped okay now you can see that uh, it is uh, typed here admin and uh, also password and we will also copy the selector or ID of this particular button login button and then we will copy it and just dot click Cl dot click method is simply to use a click any button or any something else like a radio button or a button now it will lock in okay it's too fast okay now it's clicked okay you can wow it's login and we can see our dashboard here basically something uh, went wrong please try again okay 
we have automated our login page here and in the second test case uh, we need to automate something like uh, we will we want to oh this link on admin and admin page should be open okay remove this skip from here and c dot go it here it will go it will log in and it will go the admin view page okay 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 got it actually it's visiting again and again this and this is the not right method this we will also copy it from here and define it here and copy from here paste it here and now we uh, now it will okay dot skip method Uh, why I have uh, defined the username and password actually uh, in each case we need to log in and then it will automatically log in our before each method and okay got it video let me show you something okay it's login and go to the yeah wow we are at our admin dashboard 